How to configure Active Directory authentication within StructureWare Data Center Expert. Start by defining a user within your Active Directory server that you will use to make the connection between Data Center Expert and your Active Directory server. Within the Data Center Expert client, go to the System menu and then Users and Device Group Access. Select the Authentication Servers tab. Select Add Authentication Server. Provide a label for the Active Directory server. Enter the IP address of your Active Directory server, and under Server Type, select Active Directory. Select Next. For the Bind User DN, you will need to enter the path within your Active Directory server to the user in a specific format. You may need to contact your Active Directory server administrator to acquire this information. Also, there are LDAP and Active Directory browser programs available online to assist in finding this bind information. Enter the password for the bind user that has been defined within your Active Directory server. You may want to ensure that this user is set with a password that does not expire. If the password expires, you will be unable to log in using an Active Directory account to the Data Center Expert server until the issue is corrected. Enter the search base of where your groups and users are located within Active Directory. If you are going to be adding an Active Directory group, the users and the group must be located within the search base. Select Next. Check the box for the users and user groups you would like to provide access to Data Center Expert. Select Finish. Within the Users tab, you can now administer the users and user groups that you just added via Active Directory. To add additional users or user groups, you can edit the authentication server. Select the main authentication server and then select Edit Authentication Server. Select Next. Select Next. Select the additional users and user groups you would like to provide access to Data Center Expert for. To remove a user or user group, just uncheck the box on this screen for the specific user or group, and when you select Finish, the user or group will be removed. Thank you.